This video will cover the topic, Introduction to the Power of a Product Rule of Exponents. To raise a product, meaning several things multiplied, to an exponent, we apply the exponent to each individual factor of the product. Exponents indicate repeated multiplication. In something like this, 8 to the power of 3, the number 8 is called the base, and the number 3 is called the exponent. And then the exponent tells you how many times the base is used in multiplication, right? That's right, so 8 to the power of 3 means multiplying 3 eighths together. 8 to the power of 3 equals 8 times 8 times 8, which equals 512. Let's take a look at what we do if we have two factors multiplied together and everything is raised to a power, like this. 5u all raised to the third power. When a number and a variable are directly next to each other, we assume that they are multiplied together. In this case, 5 and u are multiplied, and then the product, indicated by the parentheses around them, is raised to the third power. So, what can we do with this? Let's treat it just like we would a regular exponent. If we had 5 to the power of 3, we would just use 5 three times in multiplication. So if we do 5u to the power of 3, we should use 5u three times in multiplication. So 5u to the power of 3 is the same as saying 5u times 5u times 5u. Earlier we discussed how a number next to a variable implies that they are multiplied, so we can rewrite our expression 5u times 5u times 5u as 5 times u times 5 times u times 5 times u. One property of multiplication tells us that if several terms are all multiplied together with no other operations like addition or subtraction in between, we can rearrange them in any order. Since this whole expression is factors multiplied together, we can rearrange it so that the numbers are next to each other and the variables are next to each other. So 5 times u times 5 times u times 5 times u equals 5 times 5 times 5 times u times u times u. Now that we've grouped our 5s and our u's together, we can see that there's a lot of repeated multiplication. If we want to simplify repeated multiplication, we use exponents. So 3 5s multiplied together can be written as 5 to the power of 3. And 3 u's multiplied together can be rewritten as u to the power of 3. So 5 times 5 times 5 times u times u times u equals 5 to the power of 3 times u to the power of 3. So to summarize what we just did, we found out that 5 u to the power of 3 equals 5 to the power of 3 times u to the power of 3. But we can simplify 5 cubed even more, right? Because 5 cubed is 125. That's right. So our final answer would be 125 u to the power of 3. Let's try another example. Let's try the problem 6t squared. Well, I can write this as 6t times 6t, and then I can put the numbers next to each other and the variables next to each other to get 6 times 6 times t times t. 6 times 6 is 36, and t times t is t squared. So our final answer is 36t squared. Great job working toward the final answer. I think I understand this now. To raise a product to an exponent, we can apply the exponent to each individual factor of the product. Sounds like you're getting the hang of this topic. 